Using atlases in 3D Sampler is actually really easy. It took me a little while to figure it out, but once I opened Add a Layer, I realized it was literally the second option. But if you click on Atlas Scatter, and like let's say I wanted to throw a bunch of twigs everywhere, I could go ahead and drag this mossy twig thing into the box, and then it'll place a bunch of them, but it is kind of hard to get an idea of what it's doing. So just to give you an idea, I will select the node and scale back a couple things. So I want to get rid of the position random, the rotation random, and you can kind of see already like it's forming a grid to it. But then if I get rid of the rotation random, uh, it's aligning it even more. And then on the Atlas shape detection, I will drag this all the way up and you can see, bam, that's the, the original Atlas. So what it's doing is recognizing the island. So like it, it knows that this is one shape separated from this shape and this shape. And then just using that to like procedurally place all your different atlases. So that should give you an idea of what it's doing. But if you wanted to actually use this on a material, what I'll do is go ahead and delete that. And it's the same process. So like I have a sand material I want to use. And then if I wanted to add rocks, I would just go ahead and add a new layer, make it an atlas scatter and go over to the rocks and drag those over. And it places a bunch of them. And that like is the right idea, but it obviously doesn't look too good. And so I'll just dial these settings in a little more. I'll select that node and you can kind of just change the amount like that. That was too many rocks and they were about the right size, but changing the X and Y like alt also alter scale. So like you'll have to just do these in relation to one another X and Y and then scale if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's looking better, but then it kind of actually let me turn on the height, make that a little more exaggerated just so you can see, um, that's looking okay, but I want it to be a little more ingrained in the environment. So what I'll do is scroll down to conform to background. And then if I mess with this setting you can kind of see like how it's altering the model and kind of like ingraining it to the background. Um, so I'll just drag that up. And that's looking way better already. So yeah, that is how you would go about using an atlas in your material.